Hi everyone, very quickly let's start with the Trekker Collins syndrome. If I talk about the Trekker's Collins syndrome, it is a one which I've already told you is happening because of the first pharyngeal arch. So it is the first pharyngeal arch which leads to this particular problem okay now coming to the clinical features of this condition first thing is hypertellurism that is usually uh, more than usual gap in between of the eyes then toothagenesis discoloration absent or malformed salivary gland that could be the parotid gland then we have hyperplasia of zygomatic bone and maxilla we have an underdeveloped mandible which is very common feature then we have parrot beak nose that means excess bone and tissue is going to be there on the nose which hampers your breathing then we have downward slanting lower palpebral fissure which is going to give you a sad eye effect in the patient so in the patient you can see a sad eye or a sad face effect then you have malformation of the external ears at times you can also see cleft palate conditions in such patients and mentally also they could be a little retarded okay so mentally challenged they you could say now coming to the other name of this condition what is the other name for this condition the other name for this condition is your mandibulofacial mandibulo facial disostosis so this is the other name for this condition now coming to the treatment of this particular disease so if you talk in terms of treatment there is no medicine as such for the condition but yes the whole treatment is going to be surgical how is it going to be surgical for example in the parrot bees so in parrot beak nose what you can do you can remove the excess of the tissue and the bones so that the normal architecture of a nose is achieved and breathing is not hampered similarly if cleft palate is there treat it surgically okay treat the cleft palate surgically if there is a uh, underdeveloped or you can say microgonathia conditions in such conditions also you have to deal this condition surgically lastly missing cheekbones are there in the patient okay the cheekbones are usually underdeveloped or missing in such condition we can give implants to the patient and rebuild the cheekbones so rebuilding of the cheekbones could be done so that normal facial features could be achieved so okay normal facial features are the main thing here so this was majorly all about the Trekker Collins syndrome you need to know how is it caused what are the clinical features and how you can manage the condition hope you have liked the video like share and subscribe